M0FXB, welcome to my channel. This app in the background is called SDR Control. Let's turn it down. And of course, we're on the, the new Zygu XX200, which has the built-in WFU server, which you can use with WFU. But the settings within that can be used with SDR Control, which is an app that you would normally buy for the ICOM 705. And that's the interface for the 705, and it's made by Marcus and Jan Roshkoff. And you can download it on the App Store. And it does, you know, you do have to pay. There's the phone version, and there's the the, the iPad version. I would recommend you get the iPad version. So I'll just show you the settings on this device first. So go to System. Then you need to get your your wireless LAN running so you can get an IP address. So you just move across. The, the big knob can be, it does do it, but it can be a bit, you know, fast, but it does turn. Get to there and then select your wireless LAN. I have made a video setting up Wi-Fi. But anyway, you basically scan, put in your password. There is an onboard keyboard called here, it will say VKB, or you can just plug in a keyboard, a USB keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard into the bottom the bottom hole yeah which is marked as host and the keyboard will work fine once you've got your Wi-Fi on it goes green look so exit that then go to WFU server okay and you get this now I haven't changed anything I've left it default of course you can set your passwords how you like but the only information you actually need is the, the user and the password, which is user123. Don't change anything else. Once you've done that and you act and you enable, let's just go back quickly, you have to make sure you start it. Here mine says stop now. Click start. Exit from the, that window. And you'll see that up here, in blue, it will now have a WF. So it's running, it's up and active. So all you've got to do now is get your settings into your iPad, which are really simple. So it's running and you know, I mean experiment with it. You can see you've got mic on the iPhone if you want or on the radio, you can tune it. You've got different meters here. Plus and minus gains there. PTT, you can see it just quickly PTT by radio. You can make the PTT big. Okay. Let me try to get out of that now. I just swipe to the left, I think. So then you can turn off the scope and just, you know, have the, the frequencies and then you can tune around, yeah. So settings wise, if we, uh, let's hit the settings and we'll go to where it says available radios and we're going to go to the Zygo. So you would click add, you would give it a title. So I just put, call this X2, sorry it's so bright, just... Trying to dim it. X2. Address is the IP address, which you will find. Just use something like IP scanner to find the IP address of your of your Zygu. So there's the IP address, which I found using advanced IP scanner. I didn't change anything else except for the user. I changed that to user, and then I put in one, two, three. Okay, and then you just add it. So you've got another one you can connect to. So if I want to try and connect to it, let's give it a go. Connect. Because I'm already connected to the other one. It might want me to disconnect that one first. Yeah, okay, it's saying the wrong username and password. Yeah, I must have mistyped the one, two, three. And then it just connects. Okay, let's see if we can get it a bit brighter. So try it out. Yes, yeah, sometimes it do the connecting thing, but just reboot a couple of times and it will just start to work. And then you can be using this as well. Bye for now. Bye for now.